गोपीनाथ ममोनि वेदन सुन गोपीनाथ ममोनि वेदन सुन विषय दुर्जन सदा का मेरा तो किचु ना कि मोर गुण विषय दुर्जन सदा का मोर तो किचु ना कि मोर गुण गोपीनाथ हमार भरोसा तुम गोपीनाथ हमार भरोसा तुम तुम चरण लईन शरण तुम कि तुम चरण लईन शरण तुम कि गोपीनाथ कम सोदीबे मोरे गोपीनाथ कम सोदीबे मोरे न जानी भकती कर्मे जर मोती पड़े संसार घरे न जानी भकती कर्मे जर मोती पड़े संसार घरे गोपीनाथ सकली तो मारो माया गोपीनाथ सकली तो मारो माया नही मो मो बोल ज्ञान सुनिर्मल स्वाधीन नये काया नही मो मो बोल ज्ञान सुनिर्मल स्वाधीन नये काया गोपीनाथ नियत चरण स्थान गोपीनाथ नियत चरण स्थान मागे प्रमोण कादिया कादिया करो हे करुणा दान मागे पामोर कादिया कादिया करो हे करुणा दान गोपीनाथ तुम तो सकली जानो गोपीनाथ तुम तो सकली जानो दुर्जने तारीते तुम सकती के आचे पापी रो यारो दुर्जन तारीते तुम सकती के आचे पापी रो यारो गोपीनाथ तुम कृपा एस पार्ट ऑफ आर जयपुर प्रोग्राम दिस वीक वी हैव कम टू अनदर वेरी ऑस्पेशियस प्लेस इट्स द टेंपल ऑफ राधा गोपीनाथ गोपीनाथ वाज ब्रॉट हियर around the same time as Govinda ji and Madan Mohan the three principal deities of Vrindavan of course after um, invaders attacked uh, Vrindavan the devotees brought them here it took actually many many years for the Vrindavan deities to come here and they they've been very nicely worshiped since that time generations of families have served these deities Goswami families and through the years I've By Prabhupada's mercy, I become very close to the family here who worships um, Radha Gopinath. So when we come, um, we, devotees always get some special mercy. We're able, our group, we're able to go right in front of the deities, and the pujaris bring us the sandalwood paste from the feet of the deities, and the the, uh, the tulsi leaves, and the garlands, and the prasadam. And this is what is meant by darshan. You you go to see the Lord, but darshan also means the Lord sees us. It's not that we're just seeing Krishna. Krishna is standing before us. He's a living person. I often say that the golden rule of deity worship is always to remember that the deity is a person, just like the small Brahmin boy, well, young Brahmin boy, when he went to Vrindavan to ask Sakshi Gopal to stand as his witness in Arissa. Um, he requested the Lord, "You please come stand as my witness." And um, and the um, lord replied to him i i'd be happy to come so but the deity said to the boy um how will i come i i'm a deity how will i follow you so the brahmin boy was very intelligent brahmins are intelligent he said to the lord lord if you can talk to me you can walk behind me and that was the case so the deity is there fully conscious as the supreme personality of god has so when we go to see him He also looks directly within to our heart. 
and prays that those anarthas, those obstacles that are there between us and him, developing pure devotion, they can be removed. So we come before the Lord like that for his mercy. This particular deity of Gopinath was discovered by a great devotee called Madhu Pandit. Gopinath, like many, of the, like many of the original deities, was carved or was ordered to be carved by Brajanab. Brajanab was the great, uh, the great grandson of Krishna. And when the Lord left this world 5,000 years ago, the Brajabhasis, they were devastated. They loved Krishna more than anyone's ever been loved before. So in the Lord's separation, they were just crying, crying, crying like this. So uh, Brajanab had the very wonderful idea to establish different deities of Krishna, again, which are non different than the Lord, around Vrindavan. Different deities like Krishna and Balaram, etc., were established by Brajanam. But through the eons of time, through the millennia, those deities were lost to our vision. So when Lord Chaitanya appeared 500 years ago, he requested his, Prabhupada calls them his immediate disciples, the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, to come to Vrindavan to write books on the science of Krishna consciousness, um, discover the lost places of Krishna's pastimes, and establish deity worship. But the Goswamis didn't have any deities. They were renunciates. They, they came to Vrindavan basically just with their loincloths and their japa. So what happened is that they discovered Prandanahe, the, the lords of their heart, in various ways. Let us say the Lord revealed himself to those devotees. There's a history behind each deity of the Goswamis in Vrindavan. So Gopinath was discovered by perhaps a, a, a lesser known but not less important personality, Madhu Pandit. He was an exalted, pure devotee of the Lord. In many of our uh, scriptures, the glories of Madhu Pandit has, um, has been described. So one day he was, like the Goswamis, wandering around Vrindavan, chanting the names of the Lord, trying to find Krishna, and he came to Vamsivat. Vamsivat is where, the exact spot in Vrindavan, where Krishna, one evening, one night time, um, he played his vena, he played his flute, to call the gopis to come with him for Ras Lila. It's a whole pastime. So that, that's a very, very sacred place, Vamsivat. Vamsi, Vamsi means flute and Vat means the place, actually, where Krishna played the flute. So one day, Madhu Pandit, a contemporary of the other Goswamis, he was looking for Krishna, and suddenly the Lord revealed himself in the very dense forest. Sometimes we use the word jungle. Vrindavan looked very uh, much different 500 years ago. Lots of trees and bushes and flowers and stuff. <laughs> so um, there he, he saw Gopinath and he discovered him and immediately he, that became his Prandanahe, the Lord of his life. And he established the worship of that deity and the standard for that worship. Like all the Goswamis, a very high standard of, of devotional service uh, for the Lord. So he's famous like that. Uh, that. That one of the three principal deities of Vrindavan was found by Madhu Pandit. Madhu Pandit, um, he, um, one, one historical fact about him, he had a Tulsi coat made of thousands and thousands of Tulsi beads. And he had a, a hat made of thousands of Tulsi beads. He was very famous, he used to walk around. This was his winter coat. It was a, a Tulsi uh, jacket, and Tulsi hat. So when Gopinath originally had to be moved here because of the invasion of the invaders in Vrindavan, um, his um, uh, followers, they placed the coat of, um, of, of Madhu Pandit in the box that came down with, uh, with Gopinath, the hat and the, and, the, um, and the coat. Because of course by that time, um, uh, Madhu Pandit had passed away a couple hundred years earlier, you know, 500 years ago. So here, we, when I came here some years ago, there was a little cubby hole in the building, in the side of the building, and that's where they kept the, that's where they kept the coat. So I saw it wasn't being taken care of very nicely. So I asked the, the Mahant here if I could um, serve the temple, serve Gopinath, serve Madhu Pandit by, you know, establishing, let's say, a memorial for Madhu Pandit, because here 
I found out many people coming didn't know who Madhu, Madhu Pandit was. So they gave me that service and just off to my left here we, we established a memorial. There was a part of the temple that wasn't being used. We renovated it. Um, one of my disciples, Rasikananda from Russia, is a very good painter. Uh, he painted a beautiful painting of uh, Madhu Pandit discovering uh, Gopinath in, in the jungle. And then we took that coat and we put it in a bulletproof glass there uh, and safe from the elements and from people touching etc. And then we put different verses in marble around the memorial so people could see <coughs> or read the glories of Madhu Pandit. And it's there today, it's visited by many, uh, many, many pilgrims. So very satisfying actually when we were doing that. <coughs> A few pieces of the cloth, the beads came off and the Pujari gave them to me. So I carry that in one of my covetous, a, a necklace. <coughs> so we feel very fortunate to, to, to have rendered some service to Gopinath and Madhu Pandit here in, um, in Jaipur. So again, it's like coming home. Home is where your heart is. So our heart is with the Lord and His pure devotees by Prabhupada's grace. So this is why we come to Jayapur, Gupta Vrindavan, a hidden Vrindavan, to become inspired in, in our Krishna consciousness and go deeper into our Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna. Shri Srirata Gopinath ki, Madhu Pandit ki, the six Goswamis of Vrindavan ki, Shri Prabhupada ki, Dai Go Pimanandi. Hare Krishna. Mamoni bedono shuno Bisoi durijon Sadaka me roto Kichunaki moro guno Bisoi durijon Sadaka me roto Kichunahi moro guno Opinat Amaro bhoro satu mi Gopinath Amaro bhoro satu mi Tomaro choro ne loi no saron Tomaro king koro yami Tomaro choro ne loi no saron Tomaro king koro yami Camone so di be more go pinot, Camone so di be more. Najani vocoti, Corvejoro moti, Urechi song saro gori. Najani vocoti, Corvejoro moti, Urechi song saro gori. Gopinath Sakoli to Maro Maya Gopinath Sakoli to Maro Maya Nahi mo mo bol Geno su niri mol Sadhi no no ye ye kaya Nahi mo mo bol Geno su niri mol Sadhi no no ye ye kaya Gopinath Niyoto Choro Nesthano Gopinath Niyoto Choro Nesthano Mage Pramod Kadiya Kadiya Karohe Koru Nadano Mage Pramod Kadiya Kadiya Karohe Koru Nadano Gopinath Tumi to shakoli jano Gopinath Tumi to shakoli jano Durjane tari te Tumaro shakoti Ke ache papi ro yaro Durjane tari te Tumaro shakoti Ke ache papi ro yaro Gopinath Tumi Kripa Parabharu Gopinath Tumi Kripa Parabharu Jeevero Karone Asiya Propanche Nila Koila Subhistaro Jeevero Karone 
आशिया प्रो पंच लीला कोयला सुविस्तार गोपीनाथ आमी की दोषी रो दोषी गोपीनाथ आमी की दोषी रो दोषी ओसुर सकल पाइल चरण वृणद थकिल बसी ओसुर सकल पाइल चरण